Building lean muscles go beyond simply increasing your daily calorie intake. If your goal is to build lean muscles while burning fat or maintaining a low body fat percentage, the distribution of macronutrients becomes even more crucial. It really is essential to meet your daily calorie requirement, even being in a relative surplus. But the emphasis should always be on proteins, followed by fats with around 40 to 50% of your calories coming from carbohydrates, preferably from complex sources. This balanced macronutrient di distribution is key to achieve such a goal. Now, this number or the percent is really arbitrary. You'll have to find it. It's experimental. So, if you're pretty fat, that means you have a sort of insulin resistance. So, getting in more carbohydrates will just make them transform into body fat. So, probably you will need to decrease the carb intake, go on more complex sources as well, but you have to keep them there, you have to eat them, because otherwise you won't have protein synthesis. So, this is the key, protein synthesis. You want that to happen. And you have the carbohydrate consumption and you have the lipids. Carbohydrates and lipids are your energy sources. They Lipids provide nine calories approximately um, for every gram while carbohydrates four so it's almost twice as much and in your training trust me you're going to use fats as well not only carbohydrates so focus on these two proteins and fats and leave the carbohydrates to a minimum possible and that will be a thing you'll have to experiment and discover but if you're pretty fat, you have probably some sort of insulin resistance, meaning that your glycemia is always up and down uh, and, and you have to become more stable if you want to grow muscles and be as lean as possible. And then focus on proteins, high quality proteins of uh, the best biological value possible. I'm not saying don't eat vegetable proteins, do that too, but mainly focus on meats from mammals, from birds, fish, uh, eggs are the best sources and dairy products, but as close to nature as possible. So minimum processedly uh, foods. You want uh, the dairy products to be really fatty. So if you eat butter, as fatty as possible. Yes, if it's too much fat, just decrease a little bit the overall consumption. But that's the main thing you should uh, be oriented on. And the discussion regarding protein is pretty much in general when it matters actually the amino acid content from the protein source that you are eating. So you have to get all those essential amino acids in the right proportions and in high quantities, which is really hard to do when you are on vegetable sources and you want uh, the, the, the protein that converts into muscle tissue. And the best uh, sources for that are the ones I previously mentioned. Even that, from all the protein intake, you know that it's also a uh, energy component there. So it will turn in energy in glucose actually. Now, the less carbohydrates you eat, the more strength training you do, calisthenics, weightlifting, wherever it may be, doesn't matter. But if you are on a very low carb consumption, then definitely you're going to utilize protein uh, to turn into glucose and use it as energy. So eat carbohydrates for increasing the rate of protein synthesis. And that's what you want to focus on mostly.